action. Have you guys ever noticed how beautiful planet Earth is? There's the seas and the sunsets, and there's you. God made all of that. Let's talk a little bit more about creation. On day number one, God made light. Have you guys ever tried to find something in a dark room? It's really hard. But then he turned on the lights, and that made it much, much easier. God made light on day number one. Day number two. God made the seas and the skies. The sky has a beautiful shade of blue and beautiful white clouds. And the sea is salty and cold and very nice to look at. God made the seas and skies on number day number two. On day number three, God made vegetables and fruits and plants and trees and land. He made all that on day number three. What's your favorite vegetable? My favorite vegetable is corn. What's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is strawberries. Mmm. That's what God made on day number three. What did God make on day number four? Can you guys guess? Hmm. God made the sun and the moon and the stars on day number four. He made those lights that we can see in the day. And that we can see in the night. That's what God made on day number four. On day number five, God made the birds and all the sea creatures. What's your favorite sea creature? My favorite sea creature is a whale shark. How about your favorite bird? My favorite bird is a blue jay. Birds are so cool because they can fly and they have beautiful feathers. Fish are really cool because they can live underwater and they can stay under there for a really long time or maybe even forever. And they have beautiful scales and all that kind of stuff. That's what God made on day number five. Now let's look at day number six. Day number six, God made animals and humans. Animals like dogs and cats or lions. Roar! And God made humans like you. God made all your personalities and characteristics. He made you perfect. And you know what God said at the end of day six? He said it was all very good. Have you ever worked on a project for a really long time and you worked super hard on it? And when you finished, you said it was good? That's what God felt when he finished our earth. But he didn't stop there. He went to day number seven and he rested. And we call that day the Sabbath because not only did he rest, but we also rest on the Sabbath day. Now, do we ever take the world for granted? I mean, sometimes we throw our trash on the ground, or we're mean to animals, or we neglect our plants. But God doesn't want us to do that. He gave us humans a job. And that job is to take care of planet Earth. So what can we do to take care of the Earth? We can pick up our trash, and we can be nice to animals and other people, and we can, and we can also water our plants or give them soil, and we can recycle when we have to throw our cans and stuff like that away. God gave us a job to take care of our Earth. Think of other ways that you can take care of the Earth, too. That's my challenge for you this week. Until next time, I'm Emily Bastian. Make sure to read the Bible more so that you can learn more so that you can change the world. Bye, guys!